With only eight days to go until Christmas, I've recently found myself reflecting more and more on the significance of the season. And the one thing that I've realized is that a difficult, unplanned pregnancy is probably the most underappreciated aspect of Christmas. You see, our Christmas cards and our nativity sets usually reflect a very serene looking Mary riding the donkey to Bethlehem or later holding or looking adoringly down at the baby Jesus in the stable. But when you stop and think about the reality of what Mary and Joseph endured in the lead up to that very first Christmas, it's kind of amazing actually that we even have Christmas at all. Firstly, Mary is an unmarried woman when the angel appears to her and tells her that she is pregnant. But unlike Mary, most of the other people that she lived with would have simply believed that her pregnancy was the result of a fling with Joseph or some other local male. The social stigma of being a young, unwed, pregnant female was massive, to the point of the very real possibility of Mary being branded as an unworthy outcast in her own village. Then to make matters worse, Mary has to undertake an arduous journey late in her pregnancy to another town, all because the Roman emperor has called for a census to be taken. For some reason though, when it comes to the Christmas story, none of us really get too fixated on the astounding difficulties and challenges that Mary faced as a young, unwed, pregnant woman. Instead, we see the great hope of what that pregnancy signifies and the importance of the unborn child far outweighs all of those other trials and tribulations. When Jesus is eventually born, we know that his arrival isn't just a joyous moment for his parents. Instead, we see it as a vitally important and, and defining moment for all of us. This child conceived in less than ideal circumstances and born in a lowly stable signifies the most profound thing to ever happen to humanity. He literally divides time as we know it, and from that point on we measure our history based on the moment of his arrival. I think that Christmas is a season that challenges and reminds us of the wondrous possibility and potential that every pregnancy represents, regardless of the circumstances surrounding that pregnancy. Sadly though, the need for us to be reminded of this beautiful and very important truth has become even more urgent in light of all sorts of harmful ideologies that now regularly see us judging the value of an unborn human life based on arbitrary factors like how they were conceived, the financial circumstances of the mother, their physical and mental capabilities, or what sort of environment that they are going to be born into. In fact, at one point later in Jesus' life, when he tells someone where he is from, they respond by saying, can anything good come from there? The answer, of course, is yes, something great did come from there, and you're talking to him. How often, though, do we repeat that exact same mistake today, by looking at a particular circumstance surrounding the conception of a new human being, and then unthinkingly wondering to ourselves, can anything good come from that? Christmas is the time when we are reminded that truly profound and world-changing things happen when we look beyond our shallow judgments and prejudices or fears to respect the great wonder of every human existence and all of the amazing possibilities that it represents. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time on 3 Minutes or Less. You! Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. You need to go to our YouTube channel at lifetv.net.nz and become a subscriber. Then after that, you need to jump on Facebook and give us a like on our Facebook page too. Every week, we're going to be posting a brand new episode of 3 Minutes or Less for you to enjoy and then share with your friends. See you next time.